Good morning again. Well, now we're at the point of actually creating the signature block, which means putting all the different individual signatures together so um, that they will not fall out of your book or your journal. So what I've done is I have gone in and made sure that all of my holes have been poked and that they're ready for us to do this. Now, with your kit came a little bit of linen waxed thread, your needle, and the header bands. We're going to take the header bands and we're going to set them aside. We won't need those until the latter part of this project. We will need our thread, needle and thread, so just go ahead and unthread it. Get it ready to go. Now, I actually, you can buy the linen thread already waxed, but I end up not doing that because it's a thicker thread and I like a thinner thread. But for our purposes today, you have pre-waxed thread. And this is something I actually did for each one of these. I cut them into 50 inch lengths and then wax each of the individual pieces of linen thread. <laughs> Taking a little bit of time. Patience. All right, so we're done with that. So what you're gonna do, I'm just running my fingers along it to kind of warm it up and get those little creases out of it. They won't matter, it just makes it a little bit nicer for me, I guess. And I'm going to thread your needle. And this type of needle is, um, I think a number 20 needle, it's for darning. It has a larger eye. I don't know if you can see that or not, but the, uh, the eye is a little bit larger. And it has a blunt tip, so you won't be poking yourself as much. Now, let's go ahead and thread it through. I usually like to leave about, um, I don't know, between four and six inches. We're only gonna use one length of this, so we're not gonna double, double it over. We're not trying to sew a button on. We're just trying to secure the back of our book. Okay. Now, you have your signatures laying here together. One of the things you'll want to do is make sure that all of your holes are lined up, that you don't have any that are um, misaligned. If they are, go ahead and um, get them adjusted before you actually start the sewing process. Now, to help me stay on track, I'm going to go ahead and you can see how I have this. With them all lined up, I'm going to just lay it down flat. It'll be in front of me. I'm going to pick up my first signature and just opening it up a little bit so I can get into it. I start from left, from the right hand side, and I go towards my left. I'm going to start in this first hole, and I'm going to just thread through that hole, and I'm going to leave a tail on this sticking up about between three and four inches. And because I don't want it to come out, you can do a couple different um, methods. What I do is I have a little piece of removable tape from, um, do a lot of different craft projects, but um, painting is one of them. So I have tape that will uh, not adhere forever. It just is temporary tape. Draft, drafters tape, artist tape will work. And I just hold that down right there. So I don't have to um, spend my time trying to make sure I'm not pulling too tight to, and pulling it through. Okay, so now we've gone in from the outer side of the signature down into this hole. My thread is on the inside. Now I need to come back up and I'm gonna come up at the next hole that's in the, in the line. Whoops. And evidently, I have a really good sharp needle. It's more sharp than I thought. All right, so I came up and then one next to it. And these were, if you recall, the holes that were made specifically um, around a piece of ribbon. Now I'm going to lay my ribbon down and again because I have some tape at home I'm going to go ahead and just uh, put a little piece of tape there to hold it in place. And I do this, you can do it without um, holding on to it, it just makes it a little bit more awkward. Um, this makes it a little bit easier, everything's in place for me. Now. I've 
come up on one side of this ribbon. Now I want to go down through on the other side of the ribbon into that next hole. And when I'm doing this, what you'll see is that it's actually going to hold that ribbon in place. Okay, and we will continue on down the line until we have all of our ribbons in place. Coming up again through the middle, putting the ribbon in its place. This is temporary drafters tape, so or artist tape, so it's not going to stick forever. I just lightly tack it down. And then again, going to go down through into the signature on the other side. And I'm going to pull the, pull this taut. Because I have my little pieces of tape, I don't have to worry about trying to hold these so they're making them tight enough and not slipping through. My my thread is staying where it needs to stay. Okay, coming back up through this third section where we're going to put yet another piece of ribbon. Now, you can use ribbon, you can use a piece of um, linen cloth, so, um, and the older style books, they actually used a piece of um, rope in there, a uh, real thin rope, more like twine, and they were they made the nice ra raised edges in their books. I prefer uh, this nice flat method, it's a different style. Now, and I'm not using leather for my backing either, and no one will ever see this portion, so. Now, going back down on the other side of that ribbon, so now we have the three pieces of ribbon attached and I'm going to come back up through this last hole can't there we go come up through this last hole and now I'm back up at the top okay I'm going to just close this up a little bit probably should have put all the pieces of tape on the same side so I'm just going to again it's removable tape I'm just going to pop it off one side and pop it back onto this other one so that at this point I can um, attach my next signature. Now I do this, remember you have your series here. We're just going to go ahead and make it open it on the inside so I can have a hold of it nice and tight. And I grab a hold of the next signature, the first signature, I line them up, and now I'm going to go ahead and go back into the second hole um, at the end of the second signature. First hole at the end of the se second signature and drive back down into the center of the signature. Okay, now that I've done that, you can see, come back here, I'm going to go up through the next section and I'm going to wrap this around the ribbon. and back into the center. And I'm going to continue on until I have come through this entire row. One thing you want to be careful of, I don't know if you noticed this, but I managed to catch the edge of my signature. I want to make sure you um, go through and pull that taut on the inside and then go back down. I like to go through and do a little quick spot check each time I, I complete the sewing of the signature to make sure I don't have any um, loops hanging over no catches so that when I open my book I don't see an extra piece of string just sitting there. Okay, And then I come back up through this bottom portion and I completed that second one. Now I'm going to put the third one on. And you see how when we laid these out nice and neat and flat, now all I have to do is just pick them up and they're all lined up just perfectly. The ribbons are going to be attached at the same exact place on each one. It's going along swimmingly. Now, oops. okay, I am going to go into this third signature at the top, 
poke my hole, go through. I'm going to come up next to that first ribbon and continue on down the line. Making sure that I'm not getting attached. It's a little bit of long, um, there's a lot of thread. So it just, uh, sometimes you get caught up on the edges of the book. And continue on. thread came off my needle so I'm just going to feed it back through. You can see this is a fairly large um, head on it. It's one of the reasons why I have the um, darning needles. One is they're not as sharp and two they have a nice large um, head for a nice heavy piece of thread but also they're very easy to thread compared to some of the smaller sewing needles. Okay and I'm coming back up through the end Did a little quick check to make sure that my all of my sewing is nice and taut. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do because I want you can see how at this end these two pieces are kind of separated from one another, but these two are attached. If I were to let go of this, you can see the same thing happens down here at this end. And I really want these signatures to stay, I mean, they don't have to be really tight to one another right now, but I do want them to kind of stay together because we're creating a signature. So what I do in this case, when I come back up through this final, this last one, I just wrap my needle down through and around the previous hole, or the previous piece of thread, and you can see now they don't come apart anymore. They're just kind of attached. It's not making a knot. It's just kind of keeping them all taut with one another. I'm going to bring in my fourth signature and I'm going to go straight down into that and do as I've done so far and continue back up the line. Oops. I've detached my thread again. We're almost there. It's very exciting stuff. Okay. Just going in and out. Okay. All right, up to this last one. Don't need to stay attached anymore. I'm going to take this piece of tape off and I'm going to tie this here. And we're done with this section. I take it off each of the individual pieces of tape and whoops, there we go. Tie a little knot to keep it all nice and tight. off each of the individual pieces of tape. And so they come off pretty easy. Try not to pull out your ribbons. You want those to stay. And then in the next section what we'll discuss is actually creating the signature block and doing the gluing and adding a few other reinforcing pieces. So there you have it. Signature block. The pages are all stuck together. Clip off these little pieces. Do you have a pair of scissors here? Move that. Finish your book. All your pages are together now. You're well on your way to having a book. Alright, see you in the next video.